What's up, world? Man, look. You no, know, it's like we are as free as we choose to be. Somebody once told me that that's just like I was going through something that I didn't really like agree with, you know? It's just like, it's just the way it is. And it struck me in a way where I was like, I think it could be different. I think this is the way it is because we say it's the way it is because we agree that it's the way it is we participate in the way it is you know so therefore it becomes our reality and it's the way it is so i'm like well i want to change the way i want it to be a different way i don't technically um want to live like that i, I don't want to work every day all day you know and i know a lot of people love what they do but in some way you have to tell yourself that to sustain what you're doing you know it's such hard work you know you're not going to work because that's what you love to do you have to sustain your life you got to pay all those bills and there's a hell of a lot of bills in, in the western world like from subscriptions to mortgages to rent to car notes insurance i mean everything it's a bill for everything and it comes every 30 days like clockwork and I'm knowing that that's what propels us and like motivates us to work so hard so we can, you know, have a little bit more than what we need for the bills. And I get that. And I'm really giving like, like a round of applause to all of y'all who's, who's working so hard, you know. But I just feel like as a messenger in, um, in, in this way of life that I'm living, like I just want to remind you that there is an, another way. Like, I ain't saying you gotta come move to the jungle and like drop everything. I'm just saying remember that you're free. Remember that you can choose what you want. You know, the block you live on, the state you live on, the country you live in is not the only place in the world. You know, there's other environments that can support you in a more conducive way. You feel me? Where you don't have to put out so much energy to receive what is inherently yours by birth. Like, it's, it's your right to be able to breathe this good air and to be able to use nature's resources and, and to drink water for free without monetary need. Like, that. that's weird. That's a game that the human mind put into place. You'll never see a horse say, hey, man, that's $5, bro. You know what I mean? Like, everything's just an energetic exchange. And... Um, and I was thinking earlier, like, wow, I don't have to work. But that's not true. It's like, I do work. I work uh, very hard, actually. You know, like I, like, I work a lot. Cook a lot. Always hosting retreats. Always um, holding space. Therapy. Always just doing something, you know, for the collective. And I'm so grateful for that. Uh, but it's what I want to do. Like, I get up every day cooking or, or whatever my, my hat is for the day, whatever my, my job is. I do it because I want to, you know what I'm saying? Because spirit is is pushing me in, in that direction, not because I have to for uh, me to, to live, for me to be able to eat, for me to be able to survive, to feel safe here on earth, you know, for me to have shelter. I don't do that because I have to. It's a big difference. And, and once you switch your life, make that switch, it's like you feel this weight come come off of you and it's this weight that you don't even know is on you you know and then we say oh it's just natural uh aging the older you get the sicker you get i say it's all those years and decades of holding that weight you know we work from when we're 18 probably earlier maybe 16 to shit 70 years old you know what i'm saying like that's a lot of hours and like time on something that's heavy you know, on something that's not truly like your true e expression, your true gift. You know, we're doing things that just aren't even who we are. We're in factories. You know, we're on we're on the call centers. We're typing on computers. We're we're making someone else's dreams come true. But it's like, what are your dreams? It's some of y'all out there that got great talents, but y'all haven't been able to tap in because you haven't been given the time and space. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the Holy Haven all about. We be doing these donation retreats, so if you don't have a lot of money, you know, you can still um, have this beautiful tropical experience without it being a thousand dollar retreat and all of this extra stuff. I mean, I'm open to a thousand dollar donation if you got it, believe me. But at the end of the day, if you don't, I'm not going to turn you away or say that what I have to offer is not for you because you deserve it. 
you know? You guys shout just like I am, man. Shit. This is what it is. But anyway, you know, you need time and space to be able to unfold your gifts. You need to be able to, like, hear that thing that's very quiet, but it's always speaking, you know? And inside these urban cities and this Western society, it's so noisy, it's so busy that you can't hear anything. You know, you can barely hear your heart speaking to you. So I'm just gonna say, give yourself a break. Give yourself some time to, to see who you truly are, what you truly desire, and then trust. Trust in that, baby. And it's gonna be a little scary probably. It don't have to be. That fear could be excitement. You could be, you know, eager to see what your new journey is. But if you do feel some fear, don't let that stop you. Push right through that fear and just know that the universe is going to support you. Everything is going to conspire in your favor because it's what you were designed to do. Live your purpose. You ain't no AT&T worker. Live your purpose. You ain't no fast food worker. You ain't no cashier. You ain't no banker. You ain't no lawyer. You ain't, you ain't these things like you so much more. And if you are naturally gifted in these departments, I'm sure there's a higher way to do these things. If you good at, at negotiating, make some peace on this planet. You know what I'm saying? You good with the, you, you a doctor? Well shit, get back to the herbs. You know, heal some people. Get on your Dr. Sabi game. Like raise the frequency and the bar of what we doing, y'all. That's all I'm saying, like, it's just time. Straight like that. And we got the power, you know? Nobody, we are not victims. I do not believe that. I understand things happen to us that seem like they outside of our control, but we get to choose how we respond to those external situations. And I say we're not victims. I say we got the power to rise up no matter what's happening. And I say that you're free. You know? That's what I feel about myself, so I can only teach what I am. And that's a fact. But all right, y'all. I love y'all so much because I love myself. And I just want to remind you that you're free. If you woke up this morning doing exactly what you want to do because you wanted to do it, round of applause to you. You know what I'm saying? You're on the right path. But if you woke up this morning not doing what you wanted to do, I'm just saying, switch it up. You got the power. Love y'all. Peace.